Hello everyone, here's one more video. One more video on the contest because I failed to realize that a lot of the people that watched these videos from this weekend that may be new to ham radio don't understand the theory behind this. And a lot of them asked and said, well, wh what's going on? Why, why are you so excited about this? Why are you showing this? And that seems awful boring for a new ham radio operator. So what is contesting? I'll give you just five minutes. I'll make this quick. Contesting. Why does this happen? What does it mean? What do you do with it? Okay. So I'm going to give you just a glimpse real quick of somebody, what they're sounding like. Okay. And then I'll explain it. Listen. This will make total sense. Okay. We can find somebody. Let me find somebody. Hold on. Okay, thank you. Uh, you're 5 9 November Bravo. Good luck. You're actual 5 9 73. Come on. Nine Mike November. Okay. Five nine Minnesota Mike November. Thank you Mike November. Kilo your call. Your call. Your call. Kilo Kilo. Kilo Kilo. Kilo Golf Two Mike. Mike, Mike, 500, uh, 5, 500, Thank you, Florida, All right, so what, what are they doing? What are these people doing? All right, so if, if you could see this, hopefully, right there. We're in the RV, all right? That should be right there. We're just using my phone this weekend. Okay, so here's what's happening. With a contest, the idea of a contest is to make as many contacts as possible, Okay. Normally throughout the year, there's a contest calendar by the ARRL that shows what, uh, what you know, weekend is this contest? What is it for? Is it a CW contest? Is it a phone contest? Is it a digital contest? Is it a DX contest? Is it a worldwide contest? You know, um, here's what happened. It's, it's to make as many people... Uh, to to make uh, have people make as many contacts as possible. Now, this coincidentally draws a lot of people to the ham radio airwaves when normally they're not on the radio and people say, well, the bands are dead. I don't hear nothing. Now you can't find a free frequency on 20 meters today. That's why I didn't even go to 20 meters. I stuck on, stuck on 10 because I love 10. But uh, uh, 20 meters is absolutely just chock full, okay? And because it's a DX contest, people are uh, all on all over the world, okay? So when you hear the person saying 59K or 59500 or 59200, that is 59 is their signal report. And a lot of people get mad at that. They say, he was really a 57. Why do they just spit out 59? Because it's quick, all right? It's quick. When I'm on the radio, especially mobile, um, some big gun DX stations get mad when I give them a 5.5. Five. You know, I can hear them and tell them, five, five, five on the audio, one, two, three, four, five, and five as an S5. Like five, nine is five on audio, S9 on signal, okay? But for, for quick purposes, because a lot of these contesters are after it, after a paper award, okay? That's what they're after. Now, I'm going to give you this just in, in the, the rarest form I can, okay? A lot of these people really just do this for bragging rights and camaraderie, and they want to just have that paper and say, look what I did. They got 1,000 watts, 1,500 watts. They got a state-of-the-art contest rig, and they have no idea about going out and setting up a QRP radio and QRP antenna out in the beach with a thing stuck in the ground, getting sunburnt, making contacts at five watts. That's the, that's the reality of this, okay? I've heard many of them say life is too short for QRP. They got to have maximum legal limit power, and they got to get as many contacts as possible. 
Well, that's okay. And and the reason I said it's okay is because if I wanted to do that, I want you to say, okay, fine, just like FTA. I don't, I don't like FTA. I don't use it. But there is people out there that tell me that's the best thing next to sliced bread. And I think FTA is completely boring and it's useless at 1500 watts because it's just like shooting fish in a barrel but they're after that certificate so before i go ranting let's go a little farther um so a contest it, it brings a lot of people out now in this situation if you wanted to work a lot of dx i mean a lot a lot if you want to work countries you've never thought you'd talk to on the radio before this weekend was the weekend to do it when this shuts down at 23 or 2359 UTC, you're not going to hear anybody on the bands at all. I mean, you'll hear people, but it's going to go from not finding a free space on 20 meters to absolutely just people that are right to them. Now, what if you're not a contester? What if you don't want to participate in contest? That's fine. But you could also go to the work bands, 12 meters, 17 meters, and 30 meters. 12 and 17 offer CW. FT8, phone, digital modes, and then 30 offers CW and digital only, no voice in the United States at least, okay? So the work bands, WARC, World Amateur Radio Conference, they designated those three bands for people that don't want to contest, the people that want to just get out there and operate the radio and just have rag chews. Great. And I love rag chewing. I do it from the mobile every single day. So contesting has a place in itself for people. They love to contest. They only turn the radios on during the contest, most of them, most of them. They only turn the radios on for contest. They knock out 1,800 you know, contacts in 24 hours. They submit it to the wherever, and they get their award. Look what I got. I got me. V here on battery power at 10 watts with a field deployable antenna that's very modest and set up. That's what's fun to me. You may have fun doing contests. Now I'll give you I'll give you a little sneak peek here. I've been known to mass to do massive contests in the past when I had a little you know a, a, a little more radios than I have now and a, a little better of an antenna setup. I have had smashing pileups for hours where people all over the world were con calling me. The wife would come in and say something, bring me dinner, kiss me on the forehead, didn't even know she existed. I was in the zone, okay? I can do that. I just choose not to all the time. Now, on a contest, you can operate single and you can operate as a, as a, a club, right? So we could have done the contest as Whiskey for Oscar Tango in the Vero Beach Club. And we could have operated it with multiple operators taking turns because sometimes there's rules that you can't be on a radio 24 hours a day. You got to, you know, after six hours, you're taking a break or whatever because everybody needs a break. And it's like NASCAR. Once he pits, and if you kept going, you're going to be laps ahead of him. You know what I mean? Um, but it's just generally to find and make the most context possible. And uh, if that's for you. Normally, what I did in this weekend for those videos, I used nothing more than 10 watts, and that was unheard of for a contest, but I've made countless contacts until I bored myself, all right? Um, what else can I say about contesting? It's not about winning. It's not about winning. If, if, if that's what you feel that makes you a better operator because you won an award, I'm going to say that's a terrible outlook on this hobby, and I don't really appreciate your outlook on that. I really don't. Somebody commented a couple days ago, and this is going to be a whole video in itself. They said, the ham radio hobby is dying. And they gave me this whole dissertation, dissertation in the comments. And I'm going to take that comment and make a whole video out of it. How none of us know how to operate or work on radios anymore. None of us know how to fix them or build them. We're all a bunch of appliance operators. We're not real hams because he did it and we didn't. And I got that screenshotted. And I'm going to show this comment on Somebody's outlook from 50 years of ham radio that's telling me that because I did this portable at 10 watts in a contest that I'm not a real ham radio operator. The same thing goes for the, the awards. If you think that that makes you a better ham radio operator, for, this is for, the, for everybody, not just the new hams, but for everybody. That's the wrong way to look at it. Guys, let's come on. 
If I'm doing anything in this video channel to make you feel like you have to be what I'm doing, wrong. Just because I have a 705 doesn't mean anything. There's people out there, and, and to be honest with you, I wanted to do this contest with a tube radio. One doesn't work right now, and one, I can't find the power supply. I'm not uh, the, the power cordage. Cinch, Cinch Jones connector. I had it in my hand four days ago. I wanted to set it up, do that all on tube. No scope, no waterfall, no filtering. Couldn't get it done. So I use this. Um, but I hope this answers the questions of the people that say, "I listen, I'm new. What is all this contesting? What does it mean? Why are you excited to make all these videos all of a sudden, Eric? You haven't made videos in months and years on operating radio. Now you're doing this on contesting. What does this mean? Why are you doing this? Well, I figured maybe I'd show you because this contest did bring out a lot of ham radio operators and it gave me the opportunity to work a lot of stations. Nobody in the contest wants to rag chew. They all want to just knock it out 5-9-K-7-3. And what I gave them was 5-9 Florida, Fox, Fox Trot Lima, you know, because uh, they don't have time for, for, oh, what kind of rig are you running? They don't. So if that's, if that's not what you want to do, then contesting is not where you want to be. And to the person in the last video that you saw, oh, I'm only taking DX context. I got to play by the rules. That was a very, very bad example because people said in the comments, I'm a brand new tech and that makes me not want to get on the radio. Well, ignore them because those will be out there. They will talk to you like that. People, some people, and I don't want you to get discouraged that you can't get on and have fun because of what you saw me get angry about on the video. I'm just telling, you know, I'm, I'm grouping for, uh, I'm pushing for these new uh, operators here that, um, are, are, I, I, I find myself forgetting that I, I think that you guys know it and maybe you don't. Maybe you're, maybe I haven't explained that where I did five years ago and that was when I had 9,000 subscribers, now I got 140,000. But those people who are just, how many hands have gotten their license since I started this YouTube channel? They don't go back and watch my videos. They're watching what's today. That's why I got to recap that. The last thing I want to tell you is I just forgot. There's two kinds of contesting. There's Running, which you find a free frequency and you sit there, you call CQ, you knock them out, you hammer them. Then there's search and pounce, which is like what I do uh, normally, what, what I did this weekend. I've done running before. That's just me scrolling through the dial, listening to the contacts. I have nothing here written down. It's just for my own fun and pleasure. But, excuse me, you find someone, oh, okay, cool, 5-9 Florida, and you move up, you go to the next one, next one. After a couple hours, those stations fade, you get other propagation, I go through the dial again, I pick up all these countries, boom, one, two, three. I didn't log anything. So that's two different kinds of uh, contesting, you know, and again, it's not for everybody, and you don't have to do that. But if the contest weekend is going on, you better stick to the work bands if you're wanting to have just rag shoes, because you will not find any free frequency on those bands during a contest unless you're on the work bands 12 17 30 all right that's all i got to say uh you guys have really given me ambition uh to make multiple videos a day and now i'm going back to work tomorrow so now i can stick with my one video a day march madness trying to make a video a day for march 31 days 31 videos i've already up to i'm already up to what three yesterday two or three today i'm way ahead of schedule so, thanks everybody. Happy Sunday, 7 3. Bravo, 59500, USL, 59 Whiskey Alpha. Thank you, Whiskey Alpha, QRS. Yeah, what's working? Alpha, 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 Charlie 9. Alpha, Charlie 9, Sierra, Alpha, Charlie 9, Sierra, 59500. 10 watch, ready? November, Papa Ford, Victor Mike. Alpha. Whiskey three, whiskey three. Whiskey three. Alpha Alpha six, Papa Whiskey. Whiskey three, whiskey three. Whiskey three, Alpha Sierra Uniform, 59500. Thank you, November Charlie, QRS. Kilo Juliet four, Yankee Zulu India. November four, X Ray Lima. November four, X Ray Lima, 59500. Kilo Juliet 4, Yankee Zulu India. Papa Whiskey. Alpha Alpha 6, Papa Whiskey. Alpha. Alpha Alpha 6, Papa Whiskey. Alpha Papa. Alpha Alpha 6, Papa Whiskey. Alpha Papa 6. 
Kilo Juliet 4, Yankee Zulu, India. Whiskey 5, Papa Radio, 5500. Come on. Q Texas, Q Ocean, Papa 4, Victor Michael. Kilo Juliet 4, Yankee Zulu, India. November, Germany 3, Japan, 5500. Thank you, Papa Alpha, Q Ocean. Kilo Juliet 4, Yankee Zulu, India. Kilo Juliet 4. Kilo Juliet 4, Yankee Zulu, India, 59 Florida. Thank you, Florida, 7-3. There you go. 7-3, everybody.